Hello everybody, Dr. F. Scott Feel here, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest sponsor. The NPTE Final Frontier is the review course that I wish was around when I took the board exam. For those of you who know my story, it took me a handful of times to pass that exam, and quite frankly, I really wish I had an, a, an exam review course around, uh, just like the NPTE Final Frontier. Uh, check out their website, NPTEFF.com, and use the code HET at checkout for 10% off to all of our listeners and fans. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Dawn Brown, and I am bringing you another Teach Me Something Tuesday. Today, we are going to talk about confronting imposter syndrome. You belong here. Those are the words that you need to repeat to yourself when you feel that you are not cut out to be a physical therapist because of poor grades received on exams. You belong here. Those are the words that you need to repeat to yourself when you are the only member of a historically marginalized sociocultural group in your physical therapy program. You belong here. Those are the words that you need to repeat to yourself when you are struggling to set boundaries and balance your personal life with the life as a physical therapy student. We have all had moments when we question whether we belong. This thinking starts to make us feel like an imposter in academic spaces, social spaces, or even at home. The textbook definition of imposter syndrome is the anxiety or self-doubt that results from persistently undervaluing one's competence, an active role in achieving success, and attributing one's accomplishments to luck or external forces. As a physical therapy student, feelings of imposter syndrome may make you become socially isolated from your peers and professors and it may cause you to make poor, poor choices both academically and personally. To combat imposter syndrome, you must identify it and confront it directly. You must separate your feelings from fact. Yes, you failed an exam and you may feel stupid, but just because you feel stupid does not mean that you are stupid. The fact is you have succeeded on other exams. Change your mental script. You may not have known all the answers on the exam the first time, but you are intelligent enough to figure them out. Build your confidence. Have an attitude of curiosity and seek to expand your knowledge and skill. Information may come from your current courses, attendance at physical therapy conferences, listening to podcasts such as this one, or sessions with your physical therapy mentor. Speaking of mentors, find them. Mentors will uplift you when you are down, assist you with the physical therapy process, and provide valuable insight to build your resilience. You may see yourself reflected in your mentor, both from a sociocultural perspective and a goals perspective. Keep an accomplishment folder to track any accomplishments, awards, and recognitions. When you start to feel like an imposter, pull out that folder and revisit it. It will remind you of your successes and motivate you to achieve more. Do not compare yourself to others. As the saying goes, you can only be yourself because everyone else is already taken. You have one race to run, and that is your race. Stay in your lane because what is meant for you will be for you. And this includes success in your physical therapy program. Advocate for yourself. What is it about your physical therapy program that needs to be changed so that you do not question your ability to succeed? I tell my students often, accountability goes both ways. You as a student are accountable for your learning and we as faculty are accountable for providing a conducive environment where your learning can occur. So talk to your professors and express how you feel and what your needs are in order to achieve success. Remember, you belong here. I hope that this information on confronting imposter syndrome was helpful and we will see you on the next Teach Me Something Tuesday.